Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 23 of Ascendance of the Folklore. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <coughs> So happy. I would call them bitches with their assholes. <laughs> Horse? Not horse, that is. <clears throat> Mm. With how would trash on library? It had to be, of course. That's why you said that, you fucking ass. Wait, mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, there's no reason to cause promotion to make it worse. Oh my god. <laughs> T. 
patterns. Everything was thrown. My way. <laughs> this child has gone for a Leandre and I love it. <laughs> Ten. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, she already did, though. Only mine would get this exception. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Poor baby. She's like, oh my god, I finally have time to read, but no. like a kid in a candy store. It's too cute. Ah, perfect. Mine. Mm. Yeah, but there are books missing. So then you're telling me the guy who also messed up the room stole the books? Why would you want to steal books on magic, though? To have magic yourself? I mean, that's, that's a good reason, but... Oh. Come on. So basically almost like college. Or a magic college in a way. Mm -hmm. 
the sweet time. That's a good question. <laughs> Well, I assumed that she was going to sell them, like, at least sell half and then keep the other half for the kids. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, there's no way an extra can make that by itself. Mm hmm. Well, she had the kids help. Mm -hmm. Well, she's capable of anything when she puts her mind to it. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, how many more days does she have left until they return? So that means she can't stay home? And I mean, you know, her family and them are going to celebrate and everything. Especially the fact that the new baby is coming in the spring. But now that she can't be home during the winter, I think it's going to be a little upsetting. Especially for her dad. I mean, you know, both of her parents and plus two want to spend time with her as much as they can. But the fact is that she's going to be gone for the winter break. It is sad. She's not going to be able to see Lutz or literally anyone because she has to be at the church no matter what. So, I mean... What can you do? You gotta feel bad for it, though. But it makes you wonder what the ceremony is really gonna be about, and hopefully, like, next week, we focus on that in episode 24, but... Mm, I really thought she was gonna sell them books, because, I mean, like, almost really, everything that she makes, in the end, she ends up selling it. If it's not all of it, maybe at least half of it. That's what I was assuming that she was gonna do, where she was just like, okay, if I made... 30 copies, I keep 20, y'all keep 10. And then if I make like 60 copies, y'all get 30, I get 30 to keep it for the kids because she wants those books for the kids at the end of the day. But <laughs> since Ben is like, wait, you're not selling these? And I, I'm like, you're not? Like, really? I thought you were so that you could still have money, but then you'll still have stuff for the kids because I'm thinking she made enough for the kids, but you never know what could happen with more kids getting orphaned and things like that. So I like the fact that she still wants to have stuff just in case, but you never know. Fixing up the library was interesting too. How are you going to put the Cinderella in a book? I mean, it's easy, but and also explaining it to kids. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, he is right about that. Oh, it'd be like little pretty sleeping. He is right about that. But like, I mean, you know, he's the type of person. <laughs> the head priest is like a realist person. He is one of those types of people who was just like, mm, well, you know, that wouldn't happen in real life. This is what would actually happen. I mean, think about like any other movie or TV show or book that you've read. And then you've had like a friend or a family member, whoever, end up like reading the series or watching something or whatever. And then they come back and talk to you about it. And they're like, well, this doesn't seem realistic. Like this would never happen or that would never happen. Yada, 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 yada this, that. And you're just looking at them like, well, dang, didn't you just enjoy the book, the movie, or anything? You had to think, you had to be realistic for, like, one second for the entirety of the film or the book or, like, the series or whatever. You couldn't just be like, yeah, this would be a nice, like, place I would like to live in or something. But, mm, it's okay. It happens to all of us. You never really know what to say. It, it happens in real life. It happens when you get somebody into an anime series and then, you know, they look at you like, this would never happen. And you're just like, oh, my God, just. The series, it's okay. Like, 
stop questioning so many things. Just watch it. And then when we finish it, then we can discuss every single thing that you have questions about in the final episode. But if it has another season, then, you know, by the end of season one, we can talk about the stuff of season one. Then go on to season two and so on and so forth. But yeah, like, I mean, I, I love people who still, you know, when you're watching a show, a movie or whatever, and they ask questions like while you're watching, that's okay. I'm fine with that because... If you have a question right then and there, you really want that answer right then and there, go ahead and ask it. But there are some people who are like, no, I want you to be quiet. I want to wait until the movie's over so that any question you have for me, we can talk about it when it's over. Instead of like, we got to pause the movie, you got to explain everything or the TV show, and then you got to resume the TV show or the movie and then just keep going until another question is asked. But it's okay. Whatever, what it is what it is and it's fine. You shouldn't get mad at people over that. It's stupid, but there are people who do. Other than that, guys, this is my reaction to towards episode 23 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, then please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for episode 24. I was about to say 10. <laughs> but it's all right. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.